welcome to John's Bottle of Aiken. Today we got the Titanic, yes. Issues 105 and 106. Excellent stuff. We carry on with the stand. We got the nameplates as well. Uh, 107 and 108 I have received. And there are also hull parts. Or parts for the hull. Whichever way you want to phrase it. There we go. That's what we were left with last time. Yes. And here we have on this side we have USB off battery. There's USB-C port. Yes, I did know I put it the wrong way. I just popped it into place. Didn't think it really mattered <laughs> since we hadn't finished it. So today we've got the speaker for this. And then we connect it up and pop it on the stand. So we'll have a quick look at 105. So here we have Titanic the Ship the Legend. Issue 105. Coming in issue 106. Nameplate support for nameplate. Double sided tape and washer screws. There we go. I'll have a look at that very shortly. I'm going through the magazine, onboard dress code, part one. Yeah, lots of lovely reads in the magazine. And the magazine, of course. And here we have speaker for sound effects. We have battery cover, speaker holder, four wash screws, speaker, BP screws, NM screws. There we go. Take all of two minutes to do this one. There we go. We're connecting all this up A, B, C, and D, all the connections. There you can see the speaker into place three screws and then underneath we got four screws that is what we're left with there's the cover excellent and in issue 106 we have oh coming in issue 107 another section the left side of the hull plus screws excellent and in the magazine the Laurentic the gold ship look at that cracking picture excellent so not many newspapers like that anymore. Bullying at the bottom of the sea. Lovely coastal photograph. There we have an old deep sea diver. A diver about to plunge into the sea in a diving suit in a photograph from 1910. That'll be an excellent read. Oh, there we are. I won't mind one or two bars of that. Here we have nameplate for the model. There we go. RMS Titanic 1912. Double sided tape. Pop it onto the nameplate. There you go. Three screws underneath. And there we go, completed work. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Okie dokie, here we have the parts. Let's get them out. There is the speaker holder. There we go, those are the parts. There's the battery cover. That is the speaker holder. Um, or bracket, whichever one you want to call it. That goes something like that. And pop that into place here. There we go, you can probably pop the speaker down first there like so make sure you don't break them cables and then pop that over the top and there we go need three BP screws one two three and here are the BP screws we also have 105C that'll be for putting this onto the stand and we have NM screws as well as Okay, now let's get the uh, speaker into place. Three screws. Just make sure you don't trap the wires. There we go. Now it's just a matter of popping these into place. The speaker has B on it. Which is here and the battery is a which is that particular one there so we can plug that in there and make sure we get this the right way around it's going to be a tight fit this one as well stretch it across there we go excellent that is it now we can pop this onto the sand and fill these two sockets with the other cables excellent so here we have the stand brilliant and obviously we want it that way that is the back you can see where the nameplate goes and now we can connect these two let's go that one's d so that will go in here and there's only one vacant socket left c we go in there like so 
easy peasy lemon squeezer then it's just a matter of line this up and we use 105c which are these screws okay let's flip that over and we can pop that screw in there you might want to use a bigger screwdriver for this but first of all we'll get that that one in there yeah that's far too small there we go that should hold that nice and bonny and the second screw in there we go that's the last screw excellent so that is the rear so you got the ports here and in the off position all we need to do now is put the battery cover on and we use one nm screw for in there you get a spur screw of course there we go nothing to test at this moment in time because we do need more electronics for this so there we go that is issue 105 let's move straight on to issue 106 which is in this little box we'll get out the nameplate and the worst thing you can do with this is not get it centered on that nameplate and we have got some sticky tape and we have got some screws i would imagine in there Okay, now I thought I'd lost my nameplate, but it was actually at the bottom of the box under that flap. <laughs> that piece of cardboard. Excellent. Here it is. I was switching all over it then. You only threw it in the bin. Well, there we go. That is how it looks. RMS Titanic 1912 that will fit nicely onto there excellent now I need to get this off and hopefully pop this on to here uh, and I get that scratch just get a cloth okay time to get this double sided tape off We'll pop this onto here rather than straight onto the name plate. Get that all nicely centered. Run it along. There we go. Now it's just a case of lifting edge up if I can. That one seems to be already up. There we go. And whip the other protective covering off there we go there's our name plate and obviously we've got the screw holes here so now it's just a matter of yeah it will go edge to edge that's fine so we can start off just the like so get that nicely lined up and that is now popped into place excellent very very shiny bring the stand forward and that should now just sit there just like that excellent and we'll get the screws out there we go three of these big boys again with the washers on okay get that like that hold that there and i think that one is magnetized enough for it Let's see if we can push that into place there we go yep now the middle one in first there we go excellent let's have a look at this on another camera 
Oh, well, there we go, guys. That is it. Yes. Lucky Brill. Pop this light off. There we go. Can't really see it there, can you? There we go. RMS Titanic 1912. Excellent. That looks pretty cool, that. I like that very, very much. That uh, is the back of the stand. <laughs> Excellent. So there we go. That is issues 105 and 106. 107 and 108 will be on a separate video. Um, so that will be coming up next. But there we go, guys. That is it. This is going to be a quick hit. I'm just glad we've got this stand out of the way because I think it was six issues to get this completed. That's not a fantastic lot to do. At least we're back onto the ship now. We've got a lot more hull sections to come. We've got the stern. Uh, we, I think we got the bow. Um, what have we got next time? 107, 108, yeah. Uh, we got the, I can't remember if it's port or starboard side. Uh, but anyway, we've still got other sections of the ship to complete. I think we'll finish all them off. And I do know one of the up and coming issues is the stern. Uh, after 111, I'm not sure. But obviously we've got all the rigging and we've got all the railings to put in place. And we've got that shear line as well as excellent stuff. So lots to come with this bill. Brilliant stuff. So if you did like that, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time for 107 108. Thanks for tuning and watching. Stay safe. Bye for now.